wax up on my skin. This is love. I know it is. I know it sounds super cliche, but you make me feel some type of way. Because it was the first day, but I always think about the, the the fight that we do in Mayor's Mansion, and also just yeah, it was our first scene together was a major fight, yeah, combat, and then you were still getting used to the cowl, and there's this bit where you're on top of me on a table, and it's you know so hot in the suit, and he kept on sweating on me. There's, there's only there's only one place where sweat can be released. <laughs> which was directly in between. It would drop directly between Zoe's eyes <laughs> from the nose of my cup. We would just be like, you'd, you'd be like this, and I'd be just trying to do the scene, but also just looking at the one bead of sweat <laughs> that I knew was about to fall I could always say quivering at the end of my nose, and I'm like, don't drop. It's like Mission Impossible. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah. I think they have quite a strong connection pretty quickly, and I think they're both trying to fight that and ignore that, but I think they've both felt like outcasts, and I think they're both very surprised by feeling a connection with somebody, because I think that's quite rare for both of them, and I think it, it puts both of us out of our comfort zones. She's very um, unjudgmental of unusual dress sense as well. <laughs> I think she likes it. Yeah, she looks. <laughs> I think she's like. <laughs> On first, she never questions it at all. <laughs> so, what's up with the outfit? Like, that's never a line. Cool hat. <laughs> <laughs> Rob is actually a really good actor, which <laughs> that's, that's a big surprise. Which I wasn't expecting to be. <laughs> I was really surprised by her work. Oh my, out. yeah, I know. I'm like, you're good at acting, and you like show up on time, and you're. Maybe no, you're like a hot like that, that when we were doing like the rehearsals, like fight rehearsals. It is like kind of. I was not expecting you to be just kind of have a pretty limitless energy to keep doing the fight scenes. Thanks. Because like. That was a lot. But you have got a lot less weight to carry around. So you're just like, so actually it's not that impressive. Yeah, yeah. He just like went all the way around back to it <laughs> and like, not be. Now that I think about it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. I went I went home and worked out. <laughs> exactly. Like, go home, go, go home and work out. Eat some gruel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> four almonds. Shake. Yeah, four almonds. Starve yourself. Weigh yourself. You get on. <laughs> oh my God, this is so unhealthy. Where's my ab? <laughs> no. One I mean, of my abs you, is going. <laughs> <laughs> you you go home and you work out for four hours and then you look at the scene the next day and then you go you to cry. sleep and then you yeah, cry. You cry as up to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Not no. <laughs> I I think I, I did. I went back, but mostly just to hype myself up. You know, I went back and watched watched Dark Knight and watched all the Tim Burton ones, but mostly just because it was fun and exciting. Yeah, and it's like, like I'm working. I'm gonna watch. Well, I was kind of like, oh, I get, to, I get to do one of these. I'm That's gonna watch cool. Batman movies. It's very hard to work. I can't. I can't right now. I'm working. Yeah, <laughs> I'd seen them all before as well. I, I'd seen, oh, I'd seen them before. <laughs> I just. I think. Well, I'd seen them all in the cinema. Okay, well, uh, beat whoa. that. <laughs> It's kind of the only series where I've seen almost I rem every single movie I'd seen in the cinema. I remember seeing The Dark Knight Rises, I think, in Australia, the day I went skydiving. Wow, wow, yeah. wow. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> I can't beat that, I can't top that. Really know your way around a motorbike? <clears throat> nope. <laughs> well, yeah, you do. A little bit, but not really. Yeah. If you put me on a motorcycle right now, I'd be like, dead. <laughs> are you in touch with your dark side? Oh yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, mean, I live in it. <laughs> he, he is the shadows. <laughs> I'm like, he's, he's, he is the shadows. It's weird. I don't know why. I've got some association with bats. I don't know why. Because I quite like bats. That's I cool. do actually. No, quite bats like are bats. really cool. Yeah. I'm dying to hear one of those impressions now. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely do an impression of myself now. Rob. It seems to me like it's almost impossible to not lower your voice. How would you practice to get that pitch perfect for Batman? I started out my first week trying to do this other voice, which wasn't okay. low. I have to hear this voice. <laughs> and, like, and I did it and I tried to, Matt let me do it for like half a day. 
And he's like, I think, I was think it, it's- Was it high? It was more like whispery. And like, cause I, <laughs> and it, I watched one of the takes and it's like, that does not look right <laughs> at all. But it's funny, yeah, it's, it's difficult cause it's kind of, people have done these like really iconic voices for it as well. Yeah. And, um, and so you're trying, and, and it's voices I've done like imitations of for years. It's really difficult to not do the voice of someone else's done. But yeah, it takes a it takes a little it takes a little getting used to. I spent a lot of the time a lot of the movie like, vocal warm ups. Guys, um, like maybe in the future, if we ever get the chance to think about a sequel of this movie, is there a Batman comic that you love and maybe could bring us that that story? Loads. I like the really psychedelic ones. Matt can do it, I think. Yeah. Matt can do anything. I'm yeah. just gonna let Matt. I definitely want to do a, like a supernaturally kind of one. He will never do that. But I think there's a way of doing he it. He won't do that. Maybe if you ask with your Batman voice, not the first one, maybe the second Excuse one. Me, Excuse me, please. Matt. please Pretty please. please. Hi guys, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? How you doing? <clears throat> hey, congratulations. I love the film. I am a Batman fan, so this is... It seems a, like a you're a Superman. Superman. <laughs> <laughs> I am more Superman, but Batman, Batman is my second love. <laughs> got it, got it. I see zero, zero Batman. No, 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 I no. I see no. only Superman. I'm just going to say it. Could you not have just thrown one up just for... Just made us feel better or... Oh, why that, is it, that is an why is it, And why is it off That looks camera? like you got that one free. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's what someone was telling me. I was talking about it yesterday and they're like, you know, no matter what happens, when no matter what people think of this movie, like you've always got this great thing to connect to. And I'm like, well, I don't want to be like the worst one. You're not, <laughs> no. not the worst one. No, it's, no, it's the most incredible. It was like, it, it really is. I mean, it's kind of just walking, like we're, this, we're starting to see the billboards everywhere in LA so and cool. stuff. And it's kind of, and it is. I mean, I've like I've done other movies, and like for some reason that you've seeing... done other movies. Yeah, <laughs> but seeing your face in the cowl. I mean, it is. It's it's something you can't really get used to. And I don't even recognize myself as the in the part. I watched the movie the other day, and I'm kind of like, you're Robin. I'm watching a Batman movie. I'm Robin. Yeah. <laughs> Robin. Yeah. Wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> what? I said this a long time ago. It was a joke. <laughs> I can't even remember what the actual thing was. I said I do art house porn. Well, they said, "What are you going to do if Batman flops?" And that was your answer. Yeah. Well, it was, it was in the context of something else. What are we going to do with him? What are we going to do uh, about Rob? <laughs> that was a long time ago. It was before I was even started <laughs> shooting it. Um, but you know, never say never. I'd be more likely to do it if it's if it's successful. Yes, that makes yes, sense. Yes, that makes more sense. That makes That's... way more sense. So go see the movie, everybody. It's a celebratory <laughs> porno at the end. <laughs> you once said that the filming process was unforgettable and lonely. Can you tell us why you feel lonely? Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> I, didn't feel, I didn't feel lonely as a real person. <laughs> Just as the character. Kind of, it's a lonely existence. And also, when we're on set, I mean, it's kind of, you put that mask on, you can't hear anything anyone's saying, and so eventually people just stop talking people to just you. stop talking to you because you're just. Val Kilmer says, really? so sad. You wear the mask most of the time in the movie. Have you ever felt that the mask covers your handsome face? <laughs> Have I ever felt that? I mean, it's actually. Why are we covering this? <laughs> Have you seen this? <laughs> I know it's kind of. It, it, it makes you feel sometimes like, was I only just a chin? Is that all I was cast for? <laughs> Like, People love the chin. Like, Robert Chin Pappies. You and Rob have been friends for many years. What kind of person he is in private? Did he complain to you about life or his work? L O L. Yes. Yeah, constantly, constantly complaining, complaining, calling me, FaceTiming me, complaining, complaining. I'm Batman. They only, they only want me for the chin. It was just exhausting. Rob and Zoe, what would you most like to do when you come to China? Ooh. I want to eat a lot of food, that's for sure. There was this thing somebody told me about which I really want to do, where it's people making... Oh, what was it? Oh boy. It's like miniature... Oh, Megan, do you remember what that thing was? 
Is, is it, it like miniature? Food? It's miniature instruments or something. Oh, that's cool. But I, I saw this. I, I watched this video about it. <laughs> oh god, I need to find out what it was. Oh my god. But it's like this whole subculture where people are making like mini instruments, and it's like the coolest. And they thing. work. Yeah, it's the oh, coolest thing really I've ever cool. seen. Really it's, cool. all, <laughs> it's kind of a random thing to do in China, but like, I definitely saw. <laughs> and also, what's the little village which they used where they shot a bit of Transformers? And do you know what I'm talking about? It's in the countryside somewhere. It's the most beautiful, the, like it's crazy. I remember seeing, I used to see pictures of it and I always wanted to go there on vacation. Mm -hmm. And then, but then I since found out that Transformers shot there. Now it's like a massive tourist destination. This is for I remember like sneaking a little selfie in it, like I kind of when everyone left the room, thinking like, if, if this doesn't work out, I'll, I'll, always, I'll, have always, have this, I'll always have this. I'll always have. I'll always have a picture of me and my nipples. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, really is very transformative. And well, yeah, you would think. I mean, you're it. literally in a bad so suit. Are these two characters that, as they learn to interact with each other and interact with the world they're in, do you think these are characters who could ever learn to play well enough with others? that they work with heroes like Justice League members once upon a time in the future. I think it's hard enough just for us two to be to together. <laughs> I don't know. I love the idea of trying to figure out how to make, we've been talking about a lot how to get the fantastical elements because like Matt's world and his take on it is like so grounded. So grounded, yeah. And I'm thinking like, how can you add like we were talking the other day, like, can he add Superman into it, but he just doesn't have any powers? He's just a guy in a cape. Yeah, it's kind of, the world's kind of don't. <laughs> just like, I'm work Superman. Together. They're like, so what? <laughs> oh, you're just a journalist, sir. Put those glasses. Yeah. On. <laughs> <laughs> you're <cut. laughs> right. right. Sir, actually, can you stop I'm... changing in the phone booth? <laughs> Someone <laughs> There's a lot That's of time. That's illegal. I ask one of my best friends, uh, Jackie, because she's one of your biggest fans. <laughs> To, to tell me, you know, what, what should I ask you? And she was like, tell him to tell you a lie. That's a, <laughs> this what's is a going on? You is have a, a bad me. reputation. I know, I'm literally getting asked like, so you're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> I think people can't tell when I'm, I'm trying to tell a joke and then someone writes it down and then it looks like I'm saying it seriously and they're like, he's lying. And I'm like, I think you like to do like your, I don't, I mean, you're your, the joke. It is once, a joke. It is once a joke. Once you tell it's stories a, a bunch of times, you have to add little, little bits and pieces to it, and eventually it starts to get out of control. It's, it's all a game. <laughs> you need some flavor. You need some flavor. <laughs> I was going to ask you if we can play a game. If you can tell Soy one lie about Batman and one truth about the production of Batman, and if, let's see if she can tell us which is which. <clears throat> um. Um, so, <laughs> like, uh, oh god, <laughs> I can't think oh, of it. I was like, what's it gonna be? Um, so, did you? No. <laughs> no, that's a lie. <laughs> Thank you. Did I what? Did I what? Did I what? Um, D was the bat in the cage? The cat, the bat in the cage was real. <laughs> Is that the question? I thought it was a statement. Oh, um, and okay, I thought it was a truth and a lie, but maybe. Oh, not. truth and a lie. God. That is. Did I? I I rode the motorcycle the whole time. That was always me riding the motorcycle. Thank you yes. so much. Okay, so the bat. That is the truth. The bat. <laughs> the bat was real. The bat was real. No. Oh. Oh, that's two lies. <laughs> <laughs> see? Sorry. Do you see? It's out of control. <laughs> I gotta tell the difference. <laughs> Mine was all about kicking, actually. So it was. Kind of the opposite. Yeah, you were very impressive with your kicks. So those were kicking at the end when you're like on the floor and you're kind of like, kind of doing like a crab walk and kicking. I'm like, what? Geez. When? At the end? Then? Yeah, yeah. It's very impressive. Thank you so much. Mm. <laughs> on the, on the, on the. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know that I was really impressed with myself that day because I remember we hadn't rehearsed that, and that was towards the end of the shoot, and I had just woken up from a nap. <laughs> And they brought me to set and they were like, you're going to do this kick. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I did that kick and I was like, I think I finally got the hang of this thing. <laughs> it took a year. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm going to live, I, I live my life 
with no personal relationships whatsoever. And so he's trying to kind of figure out what this new feeling is, and and it's kind of very it's love. It's very confusing. It's, it's love. Like, it makes me feel a bit funny being around <laughs> being around this cat hat. <laughs> I hadn't literally seen the sun for about 18 months. Um, and, uh, yeah, I kind of only feel like I'm vaguely coming back to normal now. But, <clears> but uh, This is the no- this is you normal? Yeah. <laughs> um, Have you ever even had a girlfriend? I reckon he has had some girlfriends, but they've been real weirdos. <laughs> not as weird as, not as, weird as Selena. <laughs> yeah, it's literally like, I, I reckon, if he's into Selena, like, the girls that came before, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If they could, also if you looked at the his the was state, that a compliment or was that a dead kid? No, the, no, the that state was of his room. Like I mean, it's kind of the, what whoever they were, they're real dusty. You know, you seem a little awkward, but rich guys get you know get what get what they want. So I don't. Know. Um, I don't. I mean, we were talking about this earlier today. Actually, you feel like you probably had a few girlfriends. I think it seems like he's been hanging out alone a lot. It's the vibe I get, I get. I think he had a cat he really liked, and that's why he likes What? Him. And he's like, my, my, the love of my life was my cat. And that's the only and it's like, and the only like th- Selena? <laughs> all right, whatever. That's what it's all about. And to answer your question, clearly <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> How much of Bruce Wayne's money do you think he has spent to fight crime? It's pretty homemade, the stuff he's done. I mean, he's probably spent kind of a lot, but it's not but like But like, think about like the, the technology and stuff. Like that's probably Yeah, I mean, maybe expensive, that. Expensive, right? Yeah, yeah, it's probably quite expensive. I mean, it, but I don't think it's like a hundred million. <laughs> <laughs> I think okay. he's spent a bit, like, I mean. Yeah, it's, it's like, like, it's not like it's a, it's also the car is like a muscle car. It's yeah, and like he's like built it yeah. himself. And so it's kind of like, you know, you could, can, I think that's what always has been the appeal in somewhat in Batman that like, you know, if you had the cash, you could theoretically be Batman, kind of. Um, and I guess in this one, you're like, you don't even need that much cash. <laughs> you just need a little bit. You need a little bit and a little bit of expertise, maybe some like YouTube tutorials on how to like build stuff. It's uh, also, I think, like the the money's buying you the like, the luxury of being able to like focus on on this versus yeah, like yeah exactly doesn't yeah. have to have a job yeah <laughs> exactly it's true <laughs> it's a big option tip. you know how they ask people with dating like what are some of your favorite qualities uh, Batman has one of the most famous sidekicks ever in Robin what are, you, are some good qualities of a good sidekick I mean they have to just be like down for whatever right it needs to be like a, you, <laughs> you need a wingman you need someone that's like it's always yes and Right. Mm, I like. Although that can get you into trouble too. Mm, I like. I like someone who applauds. Who applauds. Just what you want a yes person. <laughs> no literal applause. You want a literal. <laughs> you want a literal <laughs> phrase and applause. I got it. I like a lot of phrase. A compliment machine. Yeah. Someone <laughs> to tell you that you're pretty. Yeah. Great. <laughs> I wish we didn't press after the movie came out. It'd be so much easier. I know. We're like, Ugh. everything's like, I don't know. I don't know. Just don't hurt me. <laughs> Are your ears okay? Uh, you they, couldn't hear anything. I couldn't hear anything. That was the one that was very, very tight on my ears. I'd and be also, like, Rob, 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 <laughs> Rob. I also had a had a had an earpiece in which I was getting direction through, oh, which yeah. I couldn't get out myself. And then occasionally they'd leave on every single person's walkie-talkie on the entire and set hear, and, be, and oh, I couldn't get no. it out of my car. So I'd be literally listening to every single like, thing that was happening going coffee orders. throughout the entire <laughs> coffee orders the whole time in the middle of a scene. And sometimes there'd be a problem going on. They'd be like, what is happening? What's happening? And I'm like, trying, trying to do a scene. To figure that's, it out. A, I didn't, that's a nightmare. It's funny. I didn't know that. Every here, and I could also tell with, it was a very intimate relationship with Matt because like sometimes he'd leave the mic on Oh, and he, and you could hear him like in the if it was a tense scene, his breathing would kind of accelerate, and I'd be like hearing Matt's breath. Like, Dan Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then like and then occasionally he'd be like, no, <laughs> in the middle of a take, and I could no, never get it not, out. No, that's the worst thing you can hear from a director in the middle of a take is no. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm sure that you knew that Zoe was in for the running for the role of Selena, but when it was finally announced, you know that the two of you guys were going to work together you know was there a congratulatory congratulatory text a phone call you know what kind of happened between the two of you to celebrate you know this accomplishment i think you sent me a nice text right yeah well i remember the, the... i think i texted you i text you 
and saying like you're stuck with me now. <laughs> 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 I know. I, she did. Like, we auditioned. We um, did a screen test together, and she was so good in the screen test. And so, but I didn't know if you were going to be cast. On yeah. So I was literally. I didn't want to um, say nothing. I, was, I just want to say anything. Yet. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I texted. I think I texted you saying you're stuck with me, and I just didn't reply. And then you didn't reply, <laughs> and now it's really awkward. So. <laughs> <laughs> he just thumbs down it. You guys have the greatest chemistry. I wanted to ask you about the first scene in the film where you both are alone. Zoe, I think you said it was the first scene that you guys shot together. And it was just so hot, for lack of a better word. I couldn't figure out another word to say. What conversations were the both of you having on set while you were shooting that to build that chemistry? Because it, it's so visceral. Well, the scene, you mean the scene in my apartment? I think or... it was in the mansion, actually. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, That was the first scene that we shot. Um, like a little bit of uh, f fighting in your hotness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we get it, we get it, we get like it. We see you, we see you. <laughs> like when I first got the call, I just went, I sat in the garden and, uh, and like looked at the sun. And I was oh, literally like, and I was like, <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, why me? Why, why all these blessings? It's so poetic. I love this. I'm so glad I asked the question. <laughs> so one thing. Who am I? <laughs> I'd love to start off with you and ask you, what kind of a personal impact did playing this role have on you? You know, stepping into that bat suit and playing this powerful character. It's even... <laughs> Five years ago, I mean, there's uh, there wouldn't I would be the last person I'd be thinking would be Batman now, but it's strange. It's like you kind of you can both simultaneously feel the history and the kind of power of the character and how much it's connected with people. But then, as soon as you put it on, it feels so kind of alien. It's really strange. I mean, and then just every couple of months on the shoot, you just catch a glimpse of yourself in a reflection, and you kind of can't really believe what you look like to other people. I mean, I guess because you're trying to play, the, the script was so kind of complex and you're trying to play the, the psychology of the character and then you're not really thinking, oh, I'm Batman right now. But it just occasionally you just get, you just suddenly you suddenly remember and you're like, wait, hold on a second. Oh, hold on. <laughs> wait a minute. I need to redo <laughs> some shit. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Who's been your favorite Batman uh, growing up? Zoe. Rob. <laughs> I'm still growing up. And if you could have a pet, if I were to give you a pet and you only had the choice of a bat or a cat, what would you guys take? Ooh, a pet bat sounds cool. Yeah, that cool. sounds great. That sounds cool. I'm going to have to go with a bat because. A little it's just tame boring. bat? Yeah, a little cute. Right? <laughs> They're cute. Little bats are cute. Bruce. It's not going to talk. Oh, is the cat. Are you going to name it Bruce? Or is that it? Bat. You're going to name it Bruce? Yeah, oops. I was in it for like 20 minutes. I just wouldn't stop. <laughs> like, I mean, I was never allowed to go in it again. <laughs> but they, they literally added a guy driving it on the roof afterwards because they didn't trust me to drive the Batmobile anymore. Well, that's what happens. I think I actually, <laughs> by accident, got it photographed by paparazzi as well. Rob. <laughs> Sweat in my, my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> In my eyes. In, in my, my mouth. mouth my We're nose. close. We're really close. <laughs> I love it. And you guys, I mean, all the scenes are incredible. Uh, one of my favorite ones was a beautiful scene of you guys on the rooftop where you guys fought a little bit, had a kiss. Uh, was it scary being up there? Like, what was that like shooting that beautiful moment? Well, that was a set. Don't tell people well, what, it was a okay, set. Okay, what am no, I supposed to on say? The, on the top of a skyscraper. It was really, <laughs> no, it was, it, no, what was amazing about that scene or that, that set, it was a set, but they made these incredible LED screens. And so we were really looking out at that beautiful view that you see in that scene. And that was really special. It was like completely yeah. transforming, yeah. And there was very little crew around and it kind of it felt, felt very real and very intimate. Romantic. Very romantic <laughs> and very intimate. Romantic. And what were some of the challenges in the suits? Movement and going to the bathroom are the two hardest things to, to do. If you go into a small, like if you're trying to like, occasionally I try and get something like out of like the cupboard under the stairs and then you get stuck. <laughs> like sometimes trying to put Batman stuff, Batman stuck trying is to a put really funny in, visual. In the washing machine. <laughs> like, Why are you doing normal <laughs> <laughs> That's really difficult. Uh -huh. like, yeah, sometimes if you just lay on the floor, it's very difficult to get back up again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a turtle stuck on its back. <laughs> but if you had to 
ask for the worst superpower, what would that be? The worst superpower. The worst superpower. Maybe, you know, it'd be like, mm, like Stretch Armstrong. Yeah, it's kind of like what? That's literally like, that dude, just stop. I also think, I also think. <laughs> it's like, no one cares if you're bendy. I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of workout tips do either one of y'all have? For somebody like me, after training with David Higgins, I, a sister just needs to know. I'll start with ladies first. Uh, David's amazing. He's a really great trainer. He's, you know, he's really dedicated. He would come over to my house at like nine o'clock at night and and work out on the reformer with me. And um, yeah, you need you need so I mean, you need help. You know, you really can't do it on your own. But I did I did really love. I was doing a lot of Pilates and stuff like that, and that was really really fun. And just someone. David's a great chat. He's a good, you know, kind of distracts you with like some funny stories while you're working out, which is very okay. Nice. So Pilates, what you got, Robert? Uh, what was I doing? I was doing absolutely everything. You know, it was really helpful. This is really bad to say, but like, cause uh, we were shooting in England and um, we were shooting in the same studio as as the Harry Potter um, cast, the the, the uh, Fantastic, Fantastic Beasts. And there's like a bunch of other like English actors who I knew, and I could see them all coming in and working out at the same time as me. And I could like Eddie and stuff. Yeah, with Eddie was working out next to me, and I was like, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'd already been training for so much longer than him, and I was like putting like ten times as much weight. Be like, <laughs> competitive, and I competitive the competition. Oh, I'm picturing like Eddie, poor Eddie did, just like trying like, to like mind his own business. He did it like a week and left. He never came back. <laughs> Actually, that's true. Actually. I have a lot of the exact <laughs> same pair of sneakers. Like <laughs> <laughs> they, I can't. I always end up getting another one. Like, and I'm like, what do you think of these? And then like, they're like, they're identical. The to same. the other They're one. The same. I, I'm one of those people who thinks if you get a new pair of shoes, it means everyone thinks that you're a different person. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I think I genuinely can have a different life if I have a different pair of it's shoes. It's the new me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really, I'm walking around like, hey. <laughs> So what's the one thing that surprised you by working with each other that not many or that you were not aware of before? Rob is a really good actor. He's really talented. You keep saying this. A lot of like, the biggest surprise to me <laughs> No. <laughs> I just always thought you was sort of a moron at a party. <laughs> like, when you're when you're not drunk, you're really you're, <laughs> um, make more sense. <laughs> the stringing of words together. <laughs> Selena doesn't really want Batman's help. Batman kind of needs Selena's help, <laughs> and I think to be honest, at first. I, I really think she wishes he would go away. I think she's, I really do. I think she's, she's so focused on, on trying to find her friend and, and, you know, they end up really finding this kindred, you know, they have these kindred spirits. But I think at first she's like, who is this guy and why won't he go away? <laughs> Yeah, right. It's true. <laughs> it's true. I think she's really like... like For like five minutes. Yeah, for like five minutes. No, it's true. And then I think she's like desperately in love with him. Yeah. But I do think at first she really doesn't want his help. And, and that's actually, I think, what's interesting about the dynamic is that they need something from each other. They don't actually really want to be around each other. I think so. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, it, there was just an ease. I think, I think if I'd gone, to example, to the camera test with you, having not met you before, I would have been more nervous. I think yeah. I felt really comfortable. I, I, because you already knew what my personality was as well. I didn't feel like I had to like kind of like be yeah, that yeah, man the whole time. Yeah, you could be like <laughs> I'm weirdo Rob, who I love. <laughs> <laughs> I think you said anything when I came when like when I came in the suit like you're not like oh like you're in that suit oh I didn't, you didn't say anything I was just like what's up you're just like what's up <laughs> sorry you didn't no, say anything about my suit I know what are you gonna say like <laughs> you feel self-conscious kind of easy to just have that be the only thing in the conversation but like oh so is it uncomfortable? <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> Shut up. Can I touch your ears? <laughs> like, yeah, Rob should be Batman when when it was announced. 
I mean, it wasn't as, as 100% as that. <laughs> well, that. That's not what there the were, internet is like. <laughs> there, weren't, there weren't riots in the streets. I've seen one. It, it was less aggressive mm. than right. when I got class in Twilight. Yeah. Like, oh, which really? is strange because no one even knew who I was. That was literally just off one photo. Who's and this like, guy? They're like, absolutely <laughs> not. That was way more painful. Um, but on this, yeah, I was quite surprised that the kind of, there was a kind of weirdly positive reaction. I think it's because it was so left field as well. No, that... it's because you're a good actor. He did the work. I he he, like he proved you. himself. Yeah. We like you. I think sometimes I was just like the words start coming out of my mouth and I'm not entirely sure if they're really connected to anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some there's a song called there's, Yeah, there's a song called My Man My Man My Bat, you know? Uh, there's a song called um um Rob 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 Rob, Rob, so Rob there's a song Rob. called Rob. There's a song called Rob. The album. the album is called Rob. Uh, <laughs> No, so that's a no, no, no. Sorry, no. <laughs> the short answer. No, no. So I'm, I'm sorry. I I'll a write a song about wow. you. Wow, just yes, that awkward. Yeah. Yes, a Catwoman see. show. Have, well, no. <laughs> the, I mean, obviously, yeah. obviously, the next movie is going to be called The Catwoman. <laughs> yeah, no, that's okay. the no-brainer. Yeah, we all yeah. know that. Maybe um, a cameo by yeah. Rob. We'll see. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> wow, non-committal. <laughs> um, like, who's your Batman? Who's your Catwoman? Who's your Joker? What's your Batmobile? Off the top of your head, what are the top ones in each? Keaton, in each Pfeiffer. <laughs> right? Well, okay, so, well, Rob, but also Keaton. I was Rob. about to say. I'm We're sorry, I was, no, I know it's Rob. Wow, but the friendship ends Michael. today, yeah. Uh, previous to Rob, it's Keaton. Now that Rob has arrived, it's Rob. Hey, I'm uh, Robert Pattinson. I'm Zoe Kravitz, and we're from the movie The Batman, and we're and gonna do this BuzzFeed co-star, co-star test. test. <laughs> Let's do it. Go, you're doing the first All right, question. here we go. Their full birthday. What's your birthday? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rob's birthday is in, it's in May. <laughs> Half a point. <laughs> When's my birthday? I think you're a Capricorn now. No. Uh, Sagittarius? Yes. I don't know when Sagittarius is. <laughs> It's like at the end of the year, you seem like a kind of Christmas, Christmas day. Oh so, my Jesus. That's your Christmas child. I would okay, say, I say both... January, no, like, no, towards the end, like 28th of December or something like that. Maybe mm. a couple, beginning of January. Mm. It's the opposite of what you're saying. You said beginning end of End of January. Beginning of December. Yes. yes. <laughs> One point for me. Okay, no, okay, so I think we know the same amount. I know that your birthday's in May. You know that my birthday is sometime in December. Yeah, and you're sort of towards the end. Neither yeah. one, okay? I know what your middle name is. Isabella. Is it? Yeah. I don't know what your middle name is. No one does. The dressing room must have. Mm, I actually know what, because I actually went in your dressing room. What? Times without you realizing, you used to use your toilet because mine didn't work. Where? No, you didn't. That's not true. You have little candles. Yeah, I have candles. How else would I know? No, I walked in by accident once. <laughs> Coca-Cola. No. No? I don't really have any must-haves. I've never even in the dressing room, ever. I don't mm. know. I don't know him. Okay, you get that one too. I do have oh. candles. Their go-to activity in between filming scenes. I don't know, you like go down your Do you have phone. like tea and stuff? You have like weird teas. Weird teas? Or just teas? Like... <laughs> or coffee. Coffee, yeah, like you're weird just coffee. Like that. You're just coffee. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, but yeah. One point. Okay. Coffee yeah. order. I think you have the same one as me. Then you have like a, you have like an, oat, an oat milk an oat latte. latte. <laughs> Their first roll. Harry Potter. That wasn't actually my first roll, but one of. That's like Come a on. Yeah, that's pretty good though. I get this one. I've got no idea. I'm sorry. Oh, my first roll was, um, in a film called No Reservations, Ooh. starring Catherine Zeta-Jones, and Aaron Eckhart. I love that movie. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Really? Yeah. I had no idea. It's really like good. It. I love the movie. Yeah, I play the goth babysitter. I have like two lines. First time you met. We met when we auditioned together. Mm. For Remember Me. For Remember Me. Did not get that part. But I think we met at a party before that. I think you're thinking of the thing which was way later. That was when we really, I was like 21 years old when I did that. We both know that. Yeah. The last project before working on the bed. You were doing Tenet. Mm-hmm. You were doing yeah. Were you doing your show? What show? Oh god, this is terrible. I know what it's called. You don't know. You don't know. I do know what it's called. Do, 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 oh god. Do, 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 it's like. Do, 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 
It's like, I'm getting confused with crazy rich Asians, and I'm thinking it's like rich lady Australians. You don't know. <laughs> rich lady you Australians. You don't know. That's the facts. Like you that. don't know. It's not even that one. Okay, I want uh, that one. I that one. Oh, oh, oh. High fidelity. Oh, f <laughs> <laughs> Was that the last project you were working before? Yeah. So good. No one wants to hire me, so. Their favorite scene you filmed together. You told me the other day, the fight scene. I did love, yes. Well, you agreed with me when I said I also liked the scene in my apartment. Yes. Yes, I great, do. great. Their favorite snack at crafts are almonds. Me? You were asking for almonds yesterday. Oh, that's just a new thing. I didn't see you eat anything, though. <laughs> that's not, <laughs> so that's yeah, not I fair. Didn't white fish. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have one more crumb? Their favorite Batman film, aside from that, Reeves. One of the Michael Keaton movies. Mm, yes, okay. Batman Returns. Uh, okay. And yours is... The first one, I reckon. No, I would say The Dark Knight. I do love The Dark Knight because of Heath. I win. <laughs> I am the winner. Their hometown. You born in London? Yes. Okay. New York. No. Ugh. Literally told me that the other day. I live in New York. I didn't tell you I was born in New York. Paris. No. LA? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then is Beach Bra. Their hidden talent. You're a really good singer. He can okay. sing. Yeah, how is this like the how how are we gonna know how many could be anything? I could say like you're like really good at walking. What? No. You got a really good walker in the movie. Who knew that you were like, such a good walker? Everyone knows I'm a good walker. <laughs> you always know really good jewelry stores? <laughs> yeah, hidden talent. It's not, it's not so hidden. That's my accountant. So, so I think I won. Uh, well, we no, we chalked it up to a tie. We're gonna get to know each other better on this press tour. <laughs> so next time we do this, I'll ask a lot more questions like this. We'll be better. Please go see the Batman. It's out on March fourth. March fourth. And it's gonna be great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can pick that up things with my feet. to be something. Some really? Yeah. Do it. No, <laughs> I can. Okay. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I think you would probably look better than me. So don't do it because you might. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it might look strange with the owl inside it as well. I don't know if there's an owl. No, you just always... poke a hole. Yeah, you, you could poke yeah, a yeah, hole yeah, for yeah. the owl. That will work. It would. It would be a little bit confusing if you're called Batman, <laughs> but I also have an owl on my head. But that's great. That's, it's kind of that's good for the sequel. Okay. Oh, yes. I will... Awesome, oh, nice. great. Perfect. He would have his own mask. Yeah. I like that a lot. You need to have instructions. You need yeah. help. You need instructions, you need at least three people. <laughs> but I kind of like having help go to the <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so it's not too much of a surprise. It kind of turns you into a kid where you're like, like it's like yeah. when your parents used to fill their clothes. <laughs> Is the crow also gonna have the Batman suit? Because then you're gonna have two, you need maybe three more people to help the crow yeah. get out of this. <laughs> yeah. Does the crow, yeah, does the crow have to use a toilet? Mm -hmm. Of course. <laughs> of course. It's or else it's gonna very, go, very or else it's gonna go on there. <laughs> That's a good point. I don't, cause, uh, I mean, I, I, I would I do just, it at one point, don't I? Oh yeah, you probably, I think yeah. anyone can, anyone can turn it on. Yeah. And then I'm just like, Yes! Who <laughs> said, did someone say, they need, I'm here. Someone just like leaned anyway. against the thing by accident. <laughs> yeah. Always have to come. I think you should look for the times when mm. I look. <laughs> oh, what are you gonna say? Yeah, just so, There are really, there are little hidden scenes where you can tell that I've just been to the toilet. Oh my God. <laughs> and I think the Japanese fans should <laughs> write in. Why can say, you tell? <laughs> well, that's the secret. Oh my god. There's a slightly different look in my eye. <laughs> There's some scenes where I look like I need to go. Yeah, to the you toilet. need to. You need to pee. You're like <laughs> um, in it. <laughs> so there's a slight change in the costume, <laughs> and I'm very curious if people can tell. Oh when my they goodness. Are. Yeah, it needs a few viewings to really, really get deep get that, into. See that it. twinkle. <laughs> that twinkle for his tinkle. <laughs> <laughs> a so lot of the bad. scenes in the Batmobile. There's a distinct look in my eyes because it's very Wee. difficult to get out of the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it might look like he's focused. Yeah. One eye gets a little smaller than the other one. <laughs> Selena. <laughs> There's basically the bat suit. I wasn't even allowed out of the studio with the suit on. Like, it's Where like, are you going to go in the bat suit? Go get a smoothie. <laughs> like, why not just pop out first? <laughs> Just five minutes. <laughs> uh, no, 
but <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I camera tested for a film Rob did called Remember Me yeah. a long time ago. We chemistry um, read together. Yeah, when I was like 22 or something like that. Honestly, I forgot that that even happened until you mentioned it the right. other day. No, because I don't know. I was like, I mean, I, 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 was, I wasn't working very much, so I'm sure I was just really nervous and hadn't done a lot of chemistry tests and all that. So I remember you being cool. Cool. Thanks. The end. <laughs> And here you realize afterwards, I mean, even though I could sort of technically get out of it, it's the first time, the helplessness you feel when you're, <laughs> you're kind so of... so sad. Yeah, you're kind of, also, I mean, the other thing is, look, you've got, when you're in a porta potty as well, I've literally been talking about toilet things. I know. Every single interview. I I'm know, but it really so. is like the biggest uh, challenge in terms of like your everyday life. And, like, but like people. a set porta potty when you're, because the main thing was the shoulders. Mm -hmm. Cause, and also the neck, because I, I cause as I could technically get out of my clothes, but I couldn't see where anything yes, was. Yes, I remember watching you like try and put <laughs> things in your pockets, like whatever. I mean, and you try and just, turn around and so just you, like... you get trapped in rooms. <laughs> like, if you could get in, but you couldn't get out without going backwards. <laughs> like reverse and try from a different angle. I'll call it visual effects, but that's really... But that's water <laughs> and it's falling down on our heads, so it's rain. <laughs> <laughs> it's rain, it's basically rain. Uh, I just remember one point I was doing that scene where I was like hiding behind the car and it was already so cold it was like the pickup in the warehouse mm. and Matt just kept like yelling more rain more rain <laughs> it's like, and it's literally just it's, you're basically having a bucket of water poured in your head it's like how is it possible yeah. I was really impressed by Rob's ability to make each scene feel different than another scene because because his face is so covered up and you can only see you know basically chin and jaw and eyes it's really hard to I would imagine it was it would be really hard to kind of give any musicality and um, and to be able to have the audience feel the difference in in tone and emotion and um, watching him do that basically with only his eyes and and even his eyes are, are quite hard to see because it's all you know dark around them so watching him actually figure out how to do that was incredible. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> I think as soon, I mean, it, it, as soon as I came in when we were doing our screen test together, it was very, I mean, it's it's just great when you see someone who's just really perfect for a part and she just came in and it was like, and even though you were, I mean, I would imagine you'd be kind of, kind of nervous. I'm totally nervous. And she like didn't look nervous at all. She was kind of improvising and stuff. And I was like, whoa, this is like, <laughs> and I was just kind of standing like, um, can you just say the lines? <laughs> I know, sorry, I remember <laughs> like, that moment. I don't know how to improvise <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, stop uh, it. <laughs> why are you going off book? Don't go off book. Don't go off okay. book. It's embarrassing. <laughs> That's really funny. I didn't watch Twilight. Oh. Yeah, right. I, sorry. <laughs> Not my tang. No, it's not even cool to be a hater anymore. I don't hate it. I just didn't see it. I just That's didn't so participate in it. I yeah, I have. I'm. I just was. I wasn't. That's not true. That's not true. I saw the first one because my best friend Sky, she kind of made me go. So I don't really remember it. But sorry. A lot playing. of experiences involved me just completely erased. <laughs> There was one person who, like, I mean, I don't understand how he managed to see. There was like an early tweet and he must have seen it. I was like, do you have Google alerts on my name? Because, I mean, he must have called me up within seconds. You're like, are you obsessed with me? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, this is a guy like, you know, it's not a child. <laughs> and he was, could not believe, I could not believe how excited it was. And he's, he's definitely asked me the most about it. It's funny as well, like people you don't really realize, like, like, like closet, closeted comic yeah, fans. Like super yeah. deep yeah. comic book fans. And like, they suddenly just like, so can, can you show me a picture of the Batmobile? And I'm like, I'm like I didn't, you've never mentioned Batman to me before. Like, I, I didn't know, know this was ever. like such a big deal to you. <laughs> like fleeting hobbies. Like, um, I, I, I like carving things. What? <laughs> what are you carving? I made a paper tray. <laughs> what? I made a paper tray when someone thought it was a piece of modern art and because uh, there wasn't any paper in it. They're like, who made this? What artist? And I was like, that is a piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> and I made it. Yeah. Uh, be able to be... Uh, cancel every time you do a mistake, mm -hmm. uh, be able to be judged every time. 
Actually, this movie is about your job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, they see us. <laughs> Morning. And there's also the kind of the cheap thing about it as well, where like, you think, if I can trick everyone into thinking, into thinking I can that do I'm it. interesting, if I just, get, <laughs> just do it for enough time yeah. and someone records it, then everyone will believe me and they'll think it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I love your evil side. <laughs> you mean him, his side? That's really his side, yeah. That's yeah. Really <laughs> yeah. Mischievous <Sad>. little. <laughs> Did he tell you about the snail when he was a kid in what's, high school? No, what's, what's <laughs> about How to happen? How did you hear this, <laughs> <laughs> The snail. That was, that, was a, that was my hero. That's the most heroic thing I've ever done. What, you saved a snail? I haven't thought about that in years. Yeah. <laughs> How do you know about the snail? You saved a snail no, or something? No, Batman has the, the bats. <laughs> He saved the snail. Snail, snail man. The snail. Well, what's going I on? think that would be the superhero. <laughs> snail man. He dressed up man. as a snail. Oh. <laughs> but wait, what is the snail story? What's going on? I used to rescue these. Um, what's that? In the in the autumn in my school, like there'd be loads of snails in the playground. Everybody would. I went to an all boys school and they'd throw them at each other. And I go and beat everybody up and save the snails. Oh my god, you are snail man. Yeah. <laughs> but then I put them in a little snail world and um Like you what do you what's this, like a little I got all these egg boxes and then hid them at the back of the classroom. And then a teacher found that I got hundreds of snails that I was feeding at the thing. And then I got a detention for you it. You got in trouble got for, in saving, trouble the for saving the snails? snails. Oh Rob. It's a real lesson learned. And that's where my trauma came from. <laughs> <laughs> and Bruce, that actually and is that's a very, became snail man. That's a very sweet story. <laughs> Bruce, oh, snail. Buddy. Bruce Snail. Bruce Snail. Bruce <laughs> Snail. I was making a lot of music. I had this funny, like, um, yeah, you were I was saying, I was singing. I have all these videos. Like, it's a very good voice. It's very difficult to get my, to get the cowl off. And so I, we'd both be in our little tents. And I have, like, headphones over the top of the cowl. I sit there with my jewel. <laughs> 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 it's very, uh, no one could ever see it. Weren't you making, you were like making techno beats or something you were saying? That I, there was something about being um, like kind of Ibiza DJ. With, when, like as soon that. as you put, you put that cowl on and like that's really what you're feeling, that's kind I'm of. I'm shocked there hasn't been a DJ that's dressed up as Batman yet. I'm sure there is, but that'd be really cool. There must be. Like in Berlin, seeing like a, that would be dope. It must be hot. That's super, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you definitely end up having a heart attack or something. I've never really had like vocal training and stuff, and so I, I, I think I kind of realized when we were doing it, because I kept making, there's something instinctive about kind of uh, trying to, I, don't, I, I kept finding you have to be like, hmm, doing this thing. I guess I'd strengthen my larynx like by accident, because when we tried to do ADR, like, um, it hurt your throat? Like, I couldn't do it. Oh, really? It actually, I couldn't, it actually took ages to get back down again. Oh, wow. Um, and uh, so I guess I'd figured out some, some way to kind of lower it. The thing I like about your Batman voice is it doesn't sound painful to do. Like, I felt like, like I thought Christian Bale's was really cool, but I was like, it sounded like it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, yeah. I was always concerned about his voice. Yeah, and you don't have a monologue like Christian Bale. He had like oh, all yeah. these long monologues. Yeah, and with I was like, voice. is your throat okay, dude? Yeah. Like, are you all right? Like, I was. <laughs> but I think there was there was something I've, I was trying to figure out a different angle on it, and it's I think all the, the other iterations of it, he changed his voice to disguise it, and I thought because Bruce doesn't, I mean, I was trying to make it look he doesn't really know exactly what he's doing with Batman. And so I just thought, how do you do a voice which sounds more like it's just he doesn't he's not controlling his voice change. He put on the suit and it just comes out different. Mm. Like and so and I just kind of thought it would be a bit like smoother, um, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> Can you have a small talk with the voice in, in the real life or small talk? Just yeah. like how's the weather? Yeah. How are you doing? Oh, the weather. <laughs> I'll have a coffee. <laughs> are you hungry? Strange. I saw. I, could eat. <laughs> I saw some of the behind the scenes too. No. And like in between takes, I be like, we didn't. I literally can't believe they released this thing as well. <laughs> I'm like, dude, the movie's not even come out yet. Don't like <laughs> give pull me a the, break. Like, and I'm, we're doing a fight scene. Me and you. Yeah. And I'm like, and I kind of stay in that thing. And then someone says, and then Matt says something. And I'm like, wait, what? Like afterwards, and it like comes up. And I was actually like, really impressed though that you were able to go back and forth so quickly. He didn't. He didn't stay in the voice. Like after, in between, he would. Just you had to do this like yoga. Completely oh. normal. <laughs> no, I'm bad. 
<laughs> this is how every guy did, like figures out what love is. Oh and then it never, it, that's uh, the ideal woman, and, then, and it never gets any, you never. Either the one that's gonna heal everything and the one in the short skirt, these are the options? <laughs> oh my God. Two options. This is the problem <laughs> with the world. <laughs> this is... <laughs> um, Robert, can you explain Zoe? I like that you're you're like really educating me on who Rob really like, is. What? This is what great. Is you're like, <laughs> so we brought you here yeah. today. <laughs> Did he told you when he was called Claudia? <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> <laughs> Your name is Cla you called yourself Claudia? I didn't. Well, no, my sister. This sis is like my so sisters, confessional. My <laughs> sisters called my sister. I did it. <laughs> um, okay. No, my sisters did. My sisters called me Claudia for a long time. When you were a child. Yeah. Because you and then, felt like, like a Claudia? And I'd be like, shut up, shut up. And then, like, secretly I'd go into their rooms and put on their You're clothes. Like, I'm Claudia. Put some tissue paper in my really? bra. Really? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that, pe that's, that could be true and totally okay. Yeah, that's great. I'm going to start calling you Claudia. A little sundress. I saw, this sounds, tails. This sounds adorable. Yeah. I love this for you. I think that's the thing. I would dress up as... Like when I think I like Final Fantasy, I think I'm more of a Tifa. <laughs> I, I mean, Rob's just a, he's like an onion, you know, the layers. Yeah, what is your of... secret identity? I don't have a secret identity. Yeah, you've always been like, you feel like the whole time I've known you, you're very like, you're like. Consistent? Yeah. <laughs> like, and like, yeah, you're very solid in your personality type. Yeah, I've only got, I've only got one. Actually, no, you used to wear like a, you used to always wear like a little hat. I did? Oh God! <laughs> like a very fast. I mean, like a. Like it was a, very 2008. No, two, like. Were they wearing was, like a like a fedora or a fedora, something? Yeah, oh yeah, God! That was, yeah, <laughs> that feels right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue dans le QG, émission exceptionnelle aujourd'hui à l'occasion de la sortie du film The Batman avec Zoé Kravitz et Robert Pattinson. Bonjour à tous les deux. Bonjour. Merci d'avoir accepté. You don't speak French. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I Mon don't. Dieu. Oh my. Do you speak? Do you speak fluent French? Of course. That's uh, English. Oh boy. <laughs> um, of course. <laughs> I'm not even gonna... Bien sûr! Oh my god! Bien sûr! Il hey, hey, yeah, yeah. y, y a un acteur français qui s'appelle Philippe Lachaud euh, qui fait un film qui s'appelle Super Héros malgré lui. Et en fait, il joue un rôle de Batman. Okay. Batman. <rire> Batman? Batman. Il avait une question pour vous, euh, si, si je peux. Alors, salut Robert, moi je m'appelle euh, Philippe. J'ai joué dans un film qui s'appelle Super Héros malgré lui, qui est au cinéma euh, actuellement. Et lorsqu'on m'a fait le costume, et ben ma costumière m'a rajouté euh, des prothèses en mousse, des, des épaules, euh, des faux biceps, et elle m'a même rajouté euh, des prothèses de fesses. Et euh, lorsque je lui ai demandé bah, pourquoi elle me rajoutait tout ça, elle m'a dit non, non, t'inquiète pas, euh, aux états unis ils font pareil, sur les super-héros, c'est juste pour avoir une plus belle silhouette. Donc ma question est la suivante. Est-ce que toi aussi, euh, tu as eu le droit à ces prothèses, dont les prothèses euh, de fesses ou est-ce que euh, ma costumière m'a dit ça juste pour pas me vexer et m'avouer que j'avais le cul plat <laughs> I, got a, I got a bat butt. Oh my god. <laughs> It's oh my god. No, I didn't have a butt. No, it's weird. Yeah, you don't have any... The legs are alarmingly un, uh, un, un, unarmed. Yeah. Sur les jambes, oui. Les, jambes, les legs. Ouais. Désolé, Philippe, du coup, il n'en avait pas sur les fesses. C'est so, toi qui avais des fesses plates, apparemment. That's interesting. That's an interesting choice, yeah. To pad the butt. To pad the butt, yeah. I mean, you know, it depends on what you're going for. Yeah. Peut-être que le corps de Philippe était différent aussi à ce moment-là. It's, it's, it's not very fashion. It, it, it is fashion, <laughs> though. No, no, no. The booty's booty. The booty's style. Est-ce que c'est vrai que tu avais la peau verte à la fin du... Du, du tournage. It, I mean, it was like it was subtle, but it's true. Yeah, I, I definitely. It might have been. I've just been talking to Zoe. Like she taught me how to take a selfie. Oh the my other day. god, I did. I taught him how to take a selfie. I think I was just taking a photo in the wrong light. <laughs> And I so just it never looked, even happened. I looked green. It might have been a green light. <laughs> Je pense que j'aurais dû être en green shirt. Ah, c'était en gros. J'ai entendu beaucoup de sueur pendant que j'étais là. Yep, beaucoup de sueur. C'était Zoe. Ça, c'était moi. C'était moi. Elle a dû se mettre son petit hat et se mettre en place. Elle est juste grosse. Vous êtes encore en train de s'occuper de la cow. Je me suis dit, vous allez devoir avoir un déodorant. Oh my god! Non, il a sué dans ma main. La première fois, la première fois, il a sué dans ma main. Donc, c'est une bonne façon de commencer la relation entre deux gâches. Oui, c'est un très bon start. En fait, c'est clairement. Ça a fait des wonders. Je suis en train de sueur. Oh. Yeah, why don't you just... Oh. Alright, oh. I'll just brighten my... There is that video. Oh boy. 
Look at him move. He's hungry. Oh, did you see this thing? Yeah. yeah. What is this? Vampires look for the most irrigated and thinnest skinned part of the body. Everyone thought I was making this up. It's true. Oh, the it's chicken and the, and the, and yeah. the butthole thing? <laughs> the butthole thing. <laughs> <laughs> the bottle, the <laughs> no one believed me. I sent that to Matt. He just didn't respond. He didn't respond. I was so embarrassed after this. We hadn't. We hadn't. Have, you, guys, have, you, have you spoken about it since? I don't think I ever brought it up. And like, but I sent it. Yeah, he didn't say anything to me. He's like, I literally what? don't have time for this. Yeah, it's like this is not funny. <laughs> That's how bats fight. They scare you until your butthole's exposed. Oh my goodness! When they move in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank goodness we're in France. Like in <laughs> I was talking to Matt a lot about what Bruce would be listening to, and I was just thinking he would definitely be a kind of black metal guy, like, and sort of death metal and like drone death metal. That was really a lot of the stuff I was listening to. And Leslie was walking up the set, it's like, oh, 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 just screaming. I like that. I think and that like, works. And it kind of works. And just kind of, I just love those guys who are really into death metal, but they listen to it with no reaction on their face. Yeah, it yeah, makes yeah. It really, like really dead, yeah. Dead inside. It's like I kind of don't feel anything. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I love that. That's who Bruce is. I was gonna do that too. Like right, right there. Oh my goodness! Like a lower back tattoo. Should we get matching devil yeah. tattoos? <laughs> maybe, maybe that and your groin. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> I can't take him anywhere. Right, it's, it's gotta like, be this one. It's like a. It, what's that? <laughs> what? Our duo yeah, in the film? Because they're together. This is ridiculous. They're like a duo. You're the burger. Nice. Fire is like it's like there's heat. There's tension. There's heat. <laughs> this one's. So I'm weird. scared. That's how you describe me. Yeah, I'm just like stunned. <laughs> Because he's goofy. Oh my gosh. Cold. Whatever. And okay, we're done. It's done. You already picked <laughs> some. <stuff. laughs> Zoe. Yeah, it's Rob. You've been watching felines. <laughs> <laughs> have you observed any bats? I have. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I have seen, Great. seen a, bat, a bat or two. <laughs> 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 this doesn't make sense. What would happen if Batman and Catwoman were on social media? They wouldn't get anything done. I'd be like, sc she'd be scrolling. Like, How do I make the cow look cool? Yeah, I'd be like, oh, the, the lighting isn't... <laughs> yeah, the lighting's not right. <laughs> <laughs> the explosion's happening in the background, whatever. We're just kind of like... <laughs> Yeah, it was kind of a no-brainer. I basically said yes as soon as, as soon as I got the call. Yeah. And I, I don't need a script. I don't read scripts anyway. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Still haven't read it. Doesn't matter. Still haven't read it. <laughs> yeah. You literally, do you want to play Batman? Yeah. Sure. That sounds fine. <laughs> Whatever. Um, <laughs> Whatever. Shut up. <laughs> don't um, call me again. <laughs> How did you get this number? You get this? <laughs> Who are you? Sorry, we're sorry. No, not at all. <laughs> you could just move so much. I remember the first thing I did. I started doing. Um, I started doing roly poly. What? That was the first thing I did. Is that it? when you roll around and on I your did a somersault? Oh, but, uh, that's cute. Actually, I think in American, a roly poly is something different. Cartwheel. A, car a cartwheel. cartwheel. That's what it's called. You did a, uh, you did a cartwheel. Wait, is it cartwheel with the hands? No, yeah, when you no like. Hand. No, no, yeah, like a forward roll. Okay, you you rolled. You did a roll. A roly poly. <laughs> roly poly. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, I kept adding that into all the fight scenes. Okay, well. I'm picturing you just rolling around. And like, you can do it like one or two times and it's fine, but like if you do it like 10 times right, even that, it's, it's kind okay, of painful. I'm sorry, I'll never forget the visual of you doing it. Also, <laughs> you made it sound a lot cooler than it, yeah, it was. <laughs> you like bend your ear after a while. So. Oh, buddy. Um, am I right in thinking, Rob, that you're actually terrified of clowns because you had a weird death experience, oh. experience of one? What? I'm learning so much about you today. Um, <laughs> actually, I was just about to go in a different direction, but like, uh, I think everyone's a little afraid of clowns, no? I don't know. Maybe See for yourself. I'm into clowns. Actually, I'm, really? That's kind of weird. I'm into clowns, but like, <laughs> I'm, I'm cool with clowns. clowns. I'm into clowns. No, I'm uh, cool with clowns. No, I did. What I, kind of clowns? Because there's like, you know, like French clowns. Yeah, I like a French clown. Yeah. Yeah. 
Scary yeah, clowns are obviously scary. scary <laughs> the, the story I read was that you were at the circus and one died in front of you, basically. What? It's another thing where <laughs> I have trouble distinguishing fact from fiction. Okay, so Rob is a liar. He's lying. I love it. And he tells all these stories, and now he's like being and asked about up, them, and, and he doesn't like, know if it's true or not. I, 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 I sort of think it is true, but it probably isn't. <laughs> now, did you know that a couple of years ago, a team of scientists actually voted you as the most handsome man of the world? I did know this. He does. You did. This. Well, I know, because it's fact. <laughs> it's science. It's science. <laughs> also, it's like, I would love to meet the scientist. Yeah, I would also like to meet the scientist. <laughs> because is the scientist a room full of 12-year-old girls? <laughs> All like on so each other's kind of... shoulders in a sci in like a, in like a chair. Like Inspector Gadget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Like, I'm just... drawing little <laughs> diagram. <laughs> Making PowerPoints. <laughs> I still don't think that's actually true anyway. I think literally someone just made it up so everyone could just then say like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> I'm not sure. Again, I made it up. <laughs> that was really good, Rob. I feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I want to take Selena to a spa. I think she just needs like a massage. The poor thing. <laughs> I got what? start random fights with people and be like, Bruce! <laughs> Quick! This guy, this guy! <laughs> Help! A wedding. Disgusting. A wedding. We're gonna move to the country. It's a very toxic we're move to relationship. We're gonna move. Okay, we have different ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna move to Connecticut. And, uh, and, and, uh, I don't know. I'm just over. There's so much crime. I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> I could have voted the mayor out. <laughs> it becomes a bit of a Karen. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Best friend, I think, uh, I think Thomas from The Lighthouse. I think they'd get on really, really well. Yeah. Get on. I could sit there and be like, what's happening? <laughs> Oh goodness, I didn't count, but I definitely went into like a, like a, I was gonna say a cat hole, but that sounds weird. But like a, And you're doing a movie called Pussy Pussy Oh my God, Ida. help me. No, I mean a lot, a lot. They just keep, and then it gets weirder, it gets weirder. It's like cats doing, you know what it always comes back to? That, that video of the cat like jumping off the, off the roof to that like sail, uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, that yeah. thing. Oh, it's amazing. It's, you know, it's like a childhood dream. And it really does kind of transform you into the, into the character and bring you into the world quite quickly. You feel significantly more powerful <laughs> when you put it on than when you turn up in the morning. <laughs> and when you take it off at night. Yeah, when you, yeah, when you shrink when into you, just yeah, mere you mortal. You're just a little worm <laughs> inside. <gasps> Judgment. Judgment. You answer the question so quick that I'm literally just like, oh, I'm oh, sorry. Wait, wait. Okay, wait, let me. Judgment. <laughs> really thought of that. I'm well, it's like, very, I know the well, answer. That's the only answer I can think of. I just, just end up agreeing with you after it. Yes. Okay. Yes, judgment. Yeah, there's like a ton of history. And like, you know, you've seen all the other movies. So you kind of, you know, you, uh, you want to, you don't want to let yourself down, I guess. Yeah, I think I, I have strong opinions, and I like being alone, independent. It's kind of the opposite of me <laughs> in a lot of ways. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're kind of broody. You can be broody. <laughs> <laughs> it was intense. It was, you know, first just getting into physical shape where you're able to even do what they're asking you to do. Um, and then learning stunt choreography and also finding ways, I think, to find very specific movements that feel like your character. So there was a lot of different layers to it, but mostly I just went home in a lot of pain every day. Yeah. Hobbling Definitely. down the stairs. It's, you realize the importance of stretching. Yeah, truly. I never, really, I never believed anyone before. I know, it's very important to warm up. 
No. I have become <laughs> so allergic to the gym. <clears throat> Just because I did it so much, I, I, I have like an anxiety around it now. Thank you fans for your questions. For your very so original quick. questions. Stop. <laughs> Just stop. All right? Thank you for sending your questions in. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zoe Kravitz. I'm Robert Pattinson. <laughs> and this is Do You Even Know Me with Lad Bible. In 2014, what did I have named after me? A kissing technique? A Ben and Jerry's flavor or an asteroid? Oh, I hope it's a Ben and Jerry's flavor. What is it? An asteroid. What? Yeah. Really? You had an asteroid? Oh my God, I haven't made it. <laughs> what was it named? Do you remember? No. Oh, you don't even know yourself. <laughs> no. It was two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, Pattinson. That's what they named it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Of these options, which is a hobby of mine? Train spotting, juggling, or crochet? Juggling. I love that you think that of me. <laughs> it's crochet. I know how to crochet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can teach you later. <laughs> Why was I expelled from school? Was it A, bedding a fish in my headmaster's desk, B, dyeing my hair bright red, or C, stealing and reselling hardcore porn magazines? What? And... <laughs> what were the first two? Putting a fish in my headmaster's pants, dyeing my Cubes bright red. You didn't say that. <laughs> You're trying to confuse me. <laughs> Your hair? No. Stealing porno magazines and selling them. You know what? I wanted to say that, and then I was—I don't know. I don't know. Disgusting. You're dirty. I just boy. made that up in the press. That's not even true. Oh, no. It's not even true. I don't know. I can't trust him. Who this knows? is a problem. Filming this year, I am making my directorial debut. What is the name of the film? A Puppy Palace, or B, Pussy Island. I thought it was Puppy Pussy. Puppy <laughs> Pussy is correct. What is it? Pussy Island. I just wanted to hear you say it. <laughs> what Harry Potter house was my character Cedric Diggory in? Well, you do, oh, there's no options? <laughs> yeah, they kind of get a gave up on the <laughs> multiple choice. I have no idea. Jesus Christ. I know, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff, okay. What did I want to be as a child? A, ballerina, B, a spy, C, a librarian. It's actually quite tough. A, librarian? What? <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Crocheting. <laughs> Yeah, right. crocheting librarian. No, a spy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for a spy. <laughs> <laughs> Opposite of a librarian. Close just... your eyes. Oh, okay. <laughs> what I'm what scared. color are my eyes? <laughs> Is that really the question? Yeah. <laughs> this is horrible. Are they, they're brown. Oh my God, that's insane. That is actually too much. Oh, well, they're like a dark, what are they? <laughs> okay. No, no, but truly uh, they're not, they're like, are they blue? They're yeah, not. To be honest, I don't really know. Okay, oh my God. <laughs> Which British band first made me starstruck? A, Led Zeppelin, B, the Rolling Stones, or C, the Spice Girls? Spice Girls for sure. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> that's so obvious. <laughs> Why did you like them so much? Everyone liked them. The Spice Girls were everything. They were everything. <laughs> well, that's it. Rob won. What? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> that was great, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Puppy pussy. Puppy pussy. <laughs>
together which was a very intense way to start the yeah. shoot yeah especially trying to figure out how to do how to do like a flirty punch it's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> a new thing like stop it oh, you uh, stop it you stop yeah. it, <laughs> you stop it. Yeah, I mean, I'm very curious what people are going to say. Okay. What do you think? No, it's, no, it's true, <laughs> I think. And we've been, we're so in it and have been, it's been this, you know, thing that only we know about for so long. So um, I'm sure there's going to be, you know, an array of, of reactions. And I think we're both really eager and curious what people are going to. Uh, with this kind of film, did you get to keep any mementos on set? Did you tell something? Maybe. <laughs> you actually look really like you have. I wasn't allowed to take anything. Like, We're not allowed. I basically to take got things. stripped. They got strip search every single time I leave the studio. I'll never tell. Yeah. <laughs> you can't exactly hide the bat suit, I guess. Under it's a, kind like, of awesome, a yeah, but, I mean, you're basically like your entire outfit's like one piece. So I didn't like, take my I... outfit. I don't have my outfit. That would have been crazy. You're trying to figure out what I have. I know. I'm like, what is it then? One of the cats. <laughs> yeah, I took one of the cats. <laughs> Zoe, who in your family is calling this movie The Catwoman? I mean, wait, is it not called The Catwoman? It is called The Catwoman. Okay. Did you ever see Colin Farrell in the canteen and flat out just not recognise him? I was more confused when I saw Colin Farrell as Colin Farrell because I was so used to seeing him as the penguin. Sometimes he'd have the head on. He'd, have, he'd put the head, the face on and first. That, and and yeah, and his body. body, and that was really disorienting. And his body language when he didn't have the kind of, <laughs> it's really like, very the rest different. of the body on. It was yeah. incredibly active <laughs> and it's like just looked incredibly strange. <laughs> and also he'd be speaking with his normal accent. <laughs> yeah. But with a different head, and I, it was very, very disturbed. I watched so many, It's and it's like, it really just, it's a, it's just a fun thing. Like to, a domestic cat, or a, Both. Yeah. Both. They're both, like, <laughs> equally as interesting. Yeah. One's obviously more intent, one's just pretty cute, but... I always like the kind of random, yeah, just a random well, like, cat scratch, like, why? <laughs> why did you But that's that? what, that's what was so interesting about it, is that you really, you can't see it coming, and that really is the... That's what I got from it. That's the strength. It's like yeah. this like cute little moment, and then all of a sudden, pow. <laughs> I kind of hope they'll have the same reaction that I had to it. I mean, I was not expecting to, to perceive the movie the way I did. And so I, hopefully... You called me and you were like, I think it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good. But... I don't get it. <laughs> for the day. Only for the day. I mean, I'll probably give it away if I've just got it for the day. Yeah, that's like, then it continues, <laughs> then it continues. If I could have it for the rest of my life, I'd maybe you do some it. other things. I'll I mean, I it. do sometimes where I'm like, okay, if crime's so bad in Gotham, why doesn't Bruce Wayne just like pay for everything to be, maybe everything would be fine then. It's just not the way it works. Okay, it's all Gotham. Right, I'm just saying everyone can have food and everyone has health care and then. Everyone a pizza. Oh, yeah, it's Batman. I mean, I. Like an idiot that I tried to do an interview where I was, is it English, that, you know, when people always ask about working out, and I think because of English, it's always kind of embarrassing, like saying, I always want to never, I always want to tell people I never go to the gym because yeah, yeah. I think that's cooler. And then you kind of undersell and over deliver. Yeah, yeah, you're like, I just love and like this. Like, and then people freaked out, right? Yeah, and everyone was like, he's not working out. He needs to be cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> Put him in the cancel bin. But I get it. I get it. Like, you know, people. It's a lot of uh, homoeroticism with Batman, and uh, you know it's necessary. It's, it's a shame you didn't have the like nipples that George Clooney's Batman had in Batman and Robin. There really, there are, but you just don't know where. <laughs> so who was who kept spirits up on set? Matt, right? Yeah. I mean, it was a long, long shoot, and it was really amazing showing up to work every day and having a director who was so excited to be there. He's just. He's the ultimate Batman fan, and he was, no matter what the scene was too, it could be a huge ac action sequence or a very simple scene with two people, and he was always just so excited, and um, that really, that yeah. really helped. You could literally be walking down a corridor and be like, oh! <laughs> oh, I love it! Do you know the scene? I wouldn't even want to touch it, I couldn't. Have you seen the behind the scenes thing when she whips off all the mannequin's heads? And yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's, that's right. That's cool. always very impressive. I also love when she's licking her. 
So. Yeah, yeah. Um, we see how the whole concept of fear is explored in this film, and your characters are so so fearless. Do you guys have any irrational fears? Yeah, oh, so many. Let's see. <laughs> Wait, you, know, what, you know, also what makes what makes it irrational is my question. Yeah, when it constantly proves, like, it did, no matter how true. irrational, and then it happens. And then it happens. And then it hurts. I mean, I'm very, I'm scared of flying. I don't know how that, how she irrational. She's very scared of flying. He's been on a plane with me now, and he sees. It's, it's, it's very strange. I'm very scared. It's very scary. It's very vulnerable. Mm. Um, but you will go on a train under the sea. <laughs> I know it doesn't is... really well. Like, so it's irrational. Uh, I don't yeah, know. that seems a lot scarier to me. <laughs> uh, my suggestion to. I actually didn't think about so that till now. I think it's, it's like, just about what you're... I'm more scared of being on a boat. I mean, boats are scary to me too. Boats are scary. Is there anything for you, Rob? Aging? Yeah, de death. <laughs> just death, death in just general. The, uh, the abyss. <laughs> uh, uh, no way, but actually it's like... Yeah. Mm, um, you scared of spiders? I'm not really scared Snakes? of spiders so much. No. Clowns? Not really clowns you, either. You said earlier like, that you were afraid of clowns. People thinking that when you're wearing shoes and your feet look really big. <laughs> but, I have that. I don't yeah, but then that. no one else, everyone's like, they look totally normal size. I'm like, no. That's your fear. And, <laughs> <laughs> and you go out and like one day, actually, yeah, that's the thing. You know what one of my biggest, most irrational things what? I realized today? You wear like a little outfit and like when you look in the mirror and you think it looks good uh -huh. and you genuinely think it, but it looks terrible. Did that happen today? <laughs> Are you talking about your outfit you're wearing right now? That's why I changed. As long as you're rocking it, it's all good. Yeah, but that's the worst when you're rocking it and then it and goes wrong. And then you think, yeah. And then it goes wrong because yeah. then you're like, who am I? Then you don't trust I don't yourself. Know, I don't know what's you going on. I don't know what's what anymore. Where are my friends? Okay, sorry. We've gone on a panel. But then you're giving it off like if the vibe's good and you're owning it, then it comes off, you know? I know, but sometimes when you drift too much into like, fantasy you're really land, not backing down. You're like, no. Because <laughs> it's like, then what is reality? If you're just telling yourself it looks good and you've convinced yourself, that, but you know it looks bad, then what are you doing? What, why are you even dressed? <laughs> this is really messing with my head now. Yeah, I know. You're like, you're like what, am I, what am I wearing? What do I, what do I? I'm interested to know, what's the most surreal thing you've seen your faces on before? I'm sure you have a better answer than I do. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, you take this first one. thing to go. Uh, I've definitely, I've seen a lot of tattoos, and like, and none. Of, so crazy. Yeah, I actually face. love. There's one wax work. I wish I could remember where it was, but I swear it's just it's 100 a different another actor from like it's just a, it's a wax work from like the early 80s or something. And they say, they say and they've just you? kind of like molded <laughs> it a bit, yeah. and they're like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <I'm like>, oh. <laughs> And I think that's, yeah. That's really funny. It's really funny. Like, I think it's in Niagara Falls. But it's like, which is strange to have lo local waxwork museums which stay open for years. <laughs> yes, it's crazy. Yeah, it's like, I want to see this random that's an thing. That's an irrational fear of mine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Are we competitive kind of equal? people? Am I competitive? Yeah. You're not. <laughs> no, maybe I am. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> No, because you're crazy. Like, I feel like you'll lie, you'll do all this weird stuff. No, but to it's win. like working stuff out. <laughs> yeah. I know, I like it kind of like Yeah. It. Don't look at mine. <laughs> Choose your own answer. All right. Are we kidding? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm scrappy. Ooh, so weird. No. <laughs> We've got cats in there, so that's fine. There's a yeah, step cats. towards. Cats? That's fine. Well, well, relax, you got, you got cats. cats. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> Three months of training beforehand, and then you have to keep it up. So you film all day, and then you literally just film and train. That's the only thing that we do. Yeah. And just eating it. I never want to see a piece, Salad of, again. A piece of white fish with, yeah. with the, just lemon on yeah. it, boiled fish. No, it's true. <laughs> It's true. Do you at least enjoy the training, Rob? I started to, yeah. Training's like a lot more. It's a lot more fun when you kind of get good at it. <laughs> it's definitely once you pass over the kind of six week mark, <laughs> then then it's all right. I mean, it gets kind of. Then you feel bad if you're not doing it. It's kind of what everyone says, and then yeah, and then good. no matter how many times you realize that it's going, oh, if I just maintain it, it's going to be great. I don't have to experience the bad part. And as soon nope. as the job's done, I'm like, no, I'm just going to, I'm not going to train I'm gonna, once. I'm going to order this pizza. <laughs> Hopefully they'll be emotionally invested in these characters. Invest.
still in his character. No, 100%. I mean, I've been dressing up as Batman since I was probably about f two. <laughs> and uh, uh, no, it's crazy. It's the most surreal experience. I mean, we did the UK premiere two days ago, I think. And just seeing the poster, I mean, it's so, it's almost impossible to believe. I mean, it's such a kind of dream role that you can't really. Yeah, it's very, very difficult to comprehend mm -hmm. what's actually happening. That would be an incredible side-by-side -side photo, by the way. The two-year-old you dressed up as Batman yeah. and then fast forward. Anna, I've actually been hiding it because I thought it would be yeah. I, I thought it would be a nice like talk show story and yeah. stuff. And then I looked at the picture and it's so dorky. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it's very embarrassing. Zoe, you beat a lot of people up in this film. I was wondering. How do you get yourself amped up for a fight scene? Do you have like a, do you listen to music? Do you have a, I'm about to go and beat people up fight playlist? Um, It depends on the scene. Like the scene we did together, I think I was just kind of stretching and making sure I was like able to do what I needed to do. But there's another scene where I was punching a punching bag in between mm. everything just to like get the, oh, remember yeah, that? yeah, 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 yeah. You were like- There was also another time when you were punching me in between it's every that was single that day. one. Okay, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> it was just true. warming up. It was like I'm in this scene as well. It's because it's because we were starting in the middle of a of a scene of a yeah. fight, and I it, it had and she to feel. punches hard. I forgot about that. Whatever. <laughs> You're fine. You're Batman. I mean, that's some real method. Some real method acting going on there. I mean, even when the cameras aren't rolling, incredible. <laughs> Robert, I'd love you to be totally honest with me on on this. Have you looked up the Batman action figures? And are you going to buy any? I haven't actually, but there's really good merch. I noticed that for, on this. Uh, have you seen any of the stuff? That's oh come yeah, up? I have a I have a Batman and Catwoman little. Oh really? Yeah. But like, there's like clothes in it. That, I oh was, like, no. There's actually like really cool clothes. Really? That's like, kind of which none of which I've seen any. I've just seen pictures of it. And I'm like, so. who's getting this stuff? Can we get some? It's actually like very classy. <laughs> I remember speaking to John Boyega a few years ago, and I think he has like a life-size action figure from one of the Star Wars films in his house. Yeah, yeah, of it's a thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. I mean, you know, okay. That's Each to their own, I guess. I would like a life-size one. Of yourself? Yeah, that's great. No, no. Zoe, how do you keep the mood up on set? I mean, this is obviously quite a dark and, and, and serious films, uh, film at times. Uh, do you, are you able to have a laugh in between some of the takes? I think so. Did we la I'm like, did we laugh? I don't know. It is a very serious film, and, and also we were shooting during COVID, so... You know, most times when you would be kind of hanging out with the crew and each other on set, we had to leave and... You know, so it was it was a little bit strange in that way. But... It was fun though, definitely. I mean, it's just kind of. I mean, the amount of it is like quite complicated. It's kind of it's one of the more complicated roles I've ever really done. And, yeah. And kind of doing doing big fight scenes and stuff like there is an element of fear because you can you can hurt you can hurt yourself and yeah. you can actually and you can hurt other people as well. And so it's kind of and I I never done anything like that before when like. You know, you want to by accident, you know, a lot of the fight scenes are in the rain, and you can't really see or hear anything, and you're just trusting you're going to turn around and yeah. hit in the right direction. And then when you punch someone in the face for the, for, by accident the first time, it's incredibly embarrassing. Like, I, I hit I hit someone in the face with a gun, you remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait, Zoe, is there anybody you didn't beat up in this film? Just as <laughs> you go around beating everybody up. My goodness. Sorry. <laughs> Like Robert, I know you're close with another superhero, Tom Holland, of course. Now mm. we've we've read this brilliant thing about his mum, who had to call the Spider-Man producers because he couldn't go to the toilet in the whole Spider-Man onesie thing. So I just yeah. wondered it, how difficult. <laughs> what? <laughs> as agent or as manager? Or <laughs> was he actually in the toilet when this happened? I, yeah. this <laughs> <laughs> he was trapped in there. No. I mean, it was all of about 30 seconds. Really? Oh. In the toilet. But he was very, very nice. And uh, uh, the Batman nod. Yeah. We were actually at, we were next to each other at a urinal. And that's why he brought up the. Uh, this is why the toilet thing. chat yeah, came the toilet. up. Yeah, yeah, that's the, the toilet chat. He looked at you and you um, thought, this. you think this is hard? You wait, you <laughs> yeah. wait for it in the Batman suit. I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not even going to yeah. make that joke. Christian, Sorry, Christian, make that. Christian was sitting there. <laughs> Butterfingers yeah. could not figure out what was going on. Oh I'm, my like, God. I'm like, do you need a hand? And he's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Robert, specifically with you, I know that you like to play with the truth 
sometimes in some of your interviews. <laughs> uh, I've noticed. Brought up a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it's quite a lot of fun. Look, we 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 love to do it here as well. We're a radio show that we try and make as fun out of everything as possible, right? Yeah. So what I thought we'd do, right, for the final part of this interview, we're going to ask you some questions, and we want you two to completely make up lies for your answers. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, we'll start off with uh, with this one, shall we? Uh, Robert, I heard a rumour uh, that a sequel to The Batman is already in the works. I assume uh, you two are ready to reprise your roles. Uh, but who will be the baddie and who will they be played by? Yes. Well, it's obviously... <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, I think we're talking to Meryl. About mm, the- Meryl yeah. Streep, okay. Yeah, yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, She's going to play Two-Face. <laughs> <laughs> That's really That'd be great. Meryl Streep is Two-Face. we're really excited about, you know, it's just... Yeah. And um, who was the other person? Again? And uh, who are we talking to? Uh, Don't you remember? Daniel Day-Lewis. <laughs> of, course. Of, course. of course. Of course. The Leprechaun. The <laughs> Leprechaun, of course. Okay. That was it, yeah. Fine. Moving on to the next one. Robert, following the success of your three of your biggest films, the next Batman film will see Cedric Diggory and Edward Cullen as a cameo. Okay, can you describe their big love scene that they have in that film to me, please? Mm, the love scene. Mm. Of course more of an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> I, wouldn't necessarily, I don't know how much love is involved. Mm-hmm. It's pretty wild and quite vicious. Yeah. <laughs> vicious, vicious. Zoe, right. Zoe. Vicious and orgy in the same sentence is wild. <laughs> Zoe, obviously we're really impressed with how you got into the, the role of, of Catwoman. We, we know that you trained by living in a cat shelter for over eight months. Um, can you just tell us a bit more about that whole experience? Well, I really wanted to immerse myself in the environment of cats. And, you know, I think I was really thankful that, you know, Rob would come to visit me and he would change the litter box. And that was really <laughs> <laughs> well, Exactly, exactly. So, exactly. so, so that was really, time. yeah, you know, but, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm dedicated to my craft. And, mm. You know, I do what I have to do to get the job done. Fantastic. Oh, hey, fantastic. look, you guys, you're so honest with your answers. We love it. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and honestly, from us, and this is not a lie, I can say this safely, we have loved the movie and we, we really do think you've done a great job. Uh, that is all the headlines, though, that the world needs that um, <laughs> Robert Patterson changes Zoe Kravitz's litter tray. Yeah, lovely. Uh, Done. We'll go right there. day long, it's in and out. I discharge loads from my shaft. Both men and women go down on me. What am I? Do it again. <laughs> what? <laughs> Say it again. All day, okay. All day long, day long it's in and out. Mm. I discharge loads from my shaft. So it has a shaft. Both men and women go down on me. What am I? Are you talking about chlamydia or something? <laughs> what has Did a shaft? It a toilet? A lift. An <laughs> That's elevator. not a riddle. Oh. It's very, very surreal. And that must just feel very badass. You're like looking at yourself being like, I'm literally Batman slash Catwoman. There is nothing else I can do that's going to be make me more badass. Yeah, it's true. Up. It's kind of sad. It's like it's only downhill from here. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no more uphill. You just look in the mirror and be like, "Can I have a pit?" <laughs> <laughs> Selfie with yourself is the most exciting thing that's going to happen. <laughs> so in this film, obviously, you had to get pretty close. But I heard the first ever scene that you guys shot was pretty up close and personal and sweaty, and with it being a fight scene. Yeah, I was just wondering, is that not the best? icebreaker in the world to basically sweat on each other's faces as soon no. as you first of all not each other i just want to be clear i wasn't sweating on your face you <laughs> were sweating on my face and it was a one-way street okay you're just lying you're just lying down i'm just making just clear that it's not sweating, sweating on each other i was i was the one <laughs> so this is a one-way st- sweat street that Cor- robert correct. you're right yeah, okay yeah, yeah. have you apologized subsequently for that you know what robert. yeah i was off and you even got pe- but you were upset i wasn't upset i actually had Literally. to th- I, I, I was like there's while, nothing i can do no while it was you, happening i was like just lay there and take it i was like there are lots of girls who would like to have just try and <laughs> try and try and be happy about the sweat 
I don't know. I don't gross. know if that's really this true. Is gross. This is <laughs> that's gross. Not really true. Getting your eyeball. The thing is, it is gross. But actually, Zoe, you're right. There is a million girls who'd pay to have Robert Pattinson sweat in their mouth. I tried to make. I didn't help. It was. It's so I gross. Know. I don't really don't know if that's true. I'm sure there's somebody not, somewhere. I think. Mm, I'm sure there's <laughs> one person somewhere. Some freak. I mean, I personally wouldn't pay for it, but listen, I think a lot of girls would. So, have you have you tried to get him back for that? Yeah, because I feel like you deserve. Like, so I don't your... want him. You don't no, do, to... you, don't, you don't have to sweat yeah. on him. Well, how do I get him back? Do you have any suggestions? Like, what do I do? I mean, what's the dirtiest thing you can do to another person? To... I mean, I guess there's that thing where you hold them down and you spit, and it's and it goes ew, like. Ew! And, I know. Oh, I that's know. like a, that's a little extreme. No, this is horrible. You asked me to think of something, Zoe. I'm a weird person. <laughs> <laughs> Moving swiftly on from sweat and spit, um, Zoe, you yeah. say hun in the film and honey and a lot of like idiosms of hun. And we love the word hun in the UK. Oh. We love it. There's a whole, there's a whole nation of huns in the UK. Do you know, do you know what a hun is? Yes. No, no, I, I mean I have a feeling that I don't. A hun? Do you know Gemma Collins? No. Oh, no. Gemma no, Collins no. is a hunt. It's someone who loves to live, laugh, love, you know, live, laugh, love, have oh. a glass of rosé on the weekend. It's a big thing in the UK. I was wondering, actually, if Robert had taught you about hun, because you mentioned it so much in the film. I was like, are you becoming a British hun, Zoe? Oh, I mean, I do love to live, laugh and what the other thing is. And I like love. Wine. Yeah, that. <laughs> and drink rosé. Well, you're already a hun, Zoe. I'm a hun. You're a hun. You're a hun. You, in, in fact, to solidify your hunness, can you just turn to Robert and say, "You okay, hun?" Because that's 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 really going to tell if you're a hun or not. You okay, hun? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, but what do you think of that? Did you think that was hun worthy? Extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, show off your hunness. Can you can you do a you okay, hun? <laughs> you okay, hun? So you're better at doing it than I am. Actually, I would say Zoe did beat you there, babe, but you both <laughs> smashed it. Thank you so much. Also wanted to quickly check with you. It's obviously very based around riddles, this film. Are you are you riddle people in real? Because in the film, Robert, you nailed it. And it was like almost too... I was like, how intelligent is Batman? This is mad. <laughs> but are you both riddle people IRL or is it a no-go? I'm horrible at riddles. No. It's because there's no param- like there can Like it could, the answer could be anything. Literally. I need, yeah. I need, like, I need things to be narrowed down. We keep doing, like, sometimes someone, in all the press, we keep asking to be do, doing riddles all the time. Sometimes someone would just ask a normal question. I'm like, wait, hold on. Let, <laughs> I'm like, that's let just me a qu- figure it that's out. That's just a question. They asked you how you're doing. <laughs> yeah, by the way, this whole interview has been a giant riddle, and I'm going to ask you what. <laughs> Life is a riddle. Um, Have you guys heard <laughs> Oh my God. Hun. I did it. I did it. I did it again. <laughs> I'm so happy. I feel like I've hunified Zoe Kravitz. Oh, oh. Incredible. Because I was wondering, you know, that thing Wordle that people play, I feel like that's like the normal version, people version of rid- riddles. You, have you tried it? No. So I literally, everyone said, oh, you'll love it. And I, do, I literally just not once. But what is, what is it? I mean, it's like a crossword. If someone told me to do a crossword, yeah. they might as well just say like, hey, do you know what you'll really enjoy? Putting on this dunce hat. <laughs> That's what you're really. It's really a reminder doing. of how dumb you are. Do you want to lo- just go and sit in the corner and have people laugh at you? <laughs> I love that because in the film you act the absolute opposite. So IRL, you're actually because I'm the same. I'm like, don't make me feel stupid. I'm not even going to play this game. No, yeah, thank you. Game. You both managed to channel being very, very, very intelligent in the movie, <laughs> and acting. very on <laughs> acting. You know, acting is such. You know. It, it is one of those things you can do anything you want with it, hun. <laughs> Talking of that, cats. I'm a big cat fan. Not to say, Robert, that I don't like bats. It's just a bit more difficult to keep bats um, mm-hmm. as pets. Um, but I've my, I've got a cat called Leonard Cohen, and he's deeply passive aggressive and rude. Zoe, oh, you managed. Leonard, well, you named your cat Leonard Cohen. Is he a poet? I did. Yes, yes. He's a That's poet, horrible. but he's 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 a gorgeous poet, and he sings incredibly well. Oh, incredibly I love well. It. But I just wondered um, when you were training to be a cat person, you kind of trained the sexy side of the cat, whereas I only ever see the passive aggressive side. I think they're both kind of one and the same, to be honest. Yeah. It'd be strange if you just see your cat walking around and be like, God damn, you're hot. (laughs) (laughs) 
Cats kind of are hot. Cats kind of are hot. No, I get like the kind of once they've been um, what's the <laughs> what? anthropomorphized. Oh yes, okay, wow. I was wow. going to say transmogrified, <laughs> but transmogrified is not a real word. Wow. Um, are we entering the wizarding world right now? Because I, I don't understand any of those oh, words. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're mysterious. Mysterious is sexy. You can't tell what they think. Yeah, but that. you know what a cat's thinking. A cat's just not thinking anything. That's, you don't know that. No, they're, they're just thinking like you don't know what they're thinking. Not like it, you know, you don't know. I I don't know. I always think I when you see like a sad dog, they look so much deeper than cats. That's not true. Don't like, you think cats are like staring dogs into your look soul? Like they're having like existential crises all the time. A cat never does. A cat because they're like they they're like we know, know what happens after we die. We're fine. Yeah, maybe they have yeah. the answers. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm obsessed. No, I'm obsessed. I'm just here. Like this is lovely. <laughs> But also, you're right. Cats are gonna. Cats could kill you in a second, and you would never know it's gonna happen. Whereas a dog, you know, exactly. Yeah. You know, you know when a dog is gonna do anything because they're like, exactly. oh, I'm going to tell you all my thoughts, exactly. even though they're yeah. a dog. A cat, anyway, I'm so if glad we have this. A cat would just eat you afterwards. Yeah. They get and a done. dog would lay down next to you and die with you. That's yeah, that. but no, that's I don't. If I'm, I want to di- keep living. I'm like a cat. You don't want to die next to your own. Even if you've been feeding your that. cat. For your its whole life, <laughs> oh and it's like I've literally I can't tell the difference between you and my food. No, the cats are like I can't change this, so let me just survive. Go out of the house, <laughs> find some food. Why are you eating me? The cat is gonna is waiting for what's going on in the will. That's what the cat's doing. The dog's crying. The cat's getting the will. The cat's yeah. getting that money and moving on. Um, <laughs> thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Thank you both absolute huns, and it's been a pleasure. Bye, huns. No, it sounds super cliche.